Welcome to Bella's Bargains, where everything is from the Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. This is Effingham. He, my cow, he goes with me sometimes. Hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. <laughs> Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Annalee. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal Puff and brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. Oh, Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Annalee. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Annalee. Together they would travel on a boat with billowed sail. A Jackie kept a lookout perched on Puff's gigantic tail. Noble kings and princes would bow whene'er they came, and pirate ships would lower their flags when Puff roared out his name. Oh, Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Annalee. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Annalee. Oh, dragons live forever, but not so little boys. Painted wings and giant rings make way for other toys. One gray night it happened, Jackie Paper came no more. And Puff, that mighty dragon, he ceased his fearless roar. His head was bent in sorrow, green scales fell like rain. Puff no longer went to play along the cherry lane. Without his lifelong friend, Puff could not be brave. So Puff, that mighty dragon, sadly slipped into his cave. Oh, Puff, the mighty dragon, lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Annalee. Puff, the magic dragon, lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Anali. Hey guys, welcome to Bells Bargains. My name is Amy. You're all singing. I know you will all be singing that song. So who sung that? Mm, it's Peter, Paul, and Mary. Super popular song in the 70s. Hippies loved that song. Hint. And that's why I sang it. Okay, so first of all, if you're new to the channel, stick around. We have a great time. We have so much fun on this channel. Good morning, besties. How are you? It is 7 a.m. Mm, I got up at 5 and did my craft for you this morning. And you guys, if you're new, you've landed on Themed Thursday. Okay, really quickly. Um, good morning. I already said that, didn't I? Well, let's say it again. Anyway, good morning. Well, I don't know when you're going to watch this. It could be good evening, good afternoon. I don't know. Well, whatever it is, good to you. <laughs> okay. Um, and if you, like I said, if you're new to the channel, I started a video with a song. And this channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree will soon be a dollar twenty-five. It was a dollar. I don't know. Everything's going up. Look at the price of gas. Even at the Dollar Tree. All right. So I want to tell everybody about a few things. I do four uploads every week. That's Totally Easy Tuesday, which is crafting for the non-crafter. Theme Thursday, which is today, which normally has a theme. Well, our theme today is hippies. And on Friday, we do Foodie Fridays, where I have a co-host named Marcus, who I happen to be in love with, and I married. Hmm. Imagine that. And then on Saturdays, we do holla for your dollar haul. Wait. Holla for your buck and quarter haul. Holla for your dollar and a quarter haul. Like, I don't know. I'm going to I have to do another. I'm going to have to come up with another little, um, what do you call it, jingle for my shopping hauls. Anyway, on Saturdays, it's shopping Saturdays, which are shopping hauls. But occasionally, I throw in extra ones. Like just yesterday, you guys got Wild Wednesday. I did a surprise haul. I love to do those. 
All right, so where are we right now? Every month I do a subscribers challenge with my people, my besties, and this month the subscriber challenge is to make a hat for Effingham. Good morning, Effingham. Nice to see you again. You're always hanging around the kitchen. Mmm. Mmm. So normally I have you guys make crafts, send me pictures, and then I show them on one of my videos. But this month, you guys are making a hat for Effingham, and we're going to do a contest. And the hat that gets the most votes, I'm going to pay to ship to me, and we're going to put it at Effingham. We'll don that hat for you. All right, but also this month, I'm doing a challenge where you guys tell me what you want me to make, and I make it with whatever supplies I have. So today is the first one of those. I put everybody's things in a bowl. I'm going to insert that video right now. Brr, video. Okay, so here's my bowl full of like all the different things that you guys have sent me. I don't have a ton, but I have enough to make it interesting. So now I'm mixing it all up. I have no idea what's in there. And um, I'm pulling it now because I want to get all my stuff out tonight before I do the craft. So I'm not making a ton of noise in the morning when people are sleeping like Marcus. All right, so random. Here we go. How about this one? Let's see what it is. Okay. It's hard to open with one hand. It is a... Oh! Pat, you get your hippie gnome. Oh, that's kind of fun. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, so I'm going to run and get all my stuff. I'll be making this craft in the morning. See how I did that? And then I drew out my name. And my name was... You guys saw it already. Pat... <coughs> Sorry, sneezing. Uh, you know why I'm sneezing? Because of what I put in my gnome. Okay, so Pat wanted a hippie gnome. So what did I make this morning? A hippie gnome. I gotta tell you guys though. So I literally drew this name out last night. I got home from work. I threw all the things in a bowl, drew it out, and then went and got all my stuff because my, my, our friend's daughter is still staying in our spare bedroom. And so can't go in there in the morning. So I, last night I went in and grabbed all the stuff and came out. Guess what I forgot? Just guess what I forgot as part of a gnome. Like, what's one of the most important parts of a gnome? The nose! Totally forgot it. But I improvised with what I had in my kitchen out here. All right. So, <clears throat> I'm really happy to say that I made a very cute hippie gnome, I think. I'm not really a big gnome person, but then I make one, I go, oh, they are kind of cute. Are you guys ready? You only get one craft today. This took a long time. I started at five. It took me two hours to make, uh, about an hour and a half, I guess, to make them. So, it looked... Let's do a thumbnail. Mm, it's my hippie gnome. Hi. I don't know what to name him. That's why I sang Puff the Magic Dragon. Nobody even requested that song, and I think I sang it before, but it's such a, you know, 70s hippies song. Okay. Can we just go over this guy for a minute? First of all, I want you guys to know you can change what he's holding. So it looks like he's going, hey. Like Ponzarelli. I guess I'd be more 50s. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't like peace signs, so I didn't put a peace sign on him. Um... In my world, peace signs are upside down, broken cross, so I don't, I don't use them. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know that's very hippie, and I couldn't get fingers that went like this because do you know what this is? These are the cell phone holders. Where's the package? Did I throw it away? I didn't. I I bought these, and I said they make cute little hands for a gnome. So they're in the electronic section, and they're can you see in there? They're supposed to hold a phone. So anyway, I just used them to make gnome hands. All right, so I'm going to go over really quickly what's in this, and then you guys can watch the video. But <clears throat> when I decided to make a gnome, I like to weight my gnomes, so I'll put them over, I'll put a sock, these are this a pair of socks, obviously. I'll put a sock over a jar or something. This is inside here, and you'll see in the video, is the light bulb terrarium. But it's the perfect shape. It's pear-shaped. And I could put something inside of it. So when I make gnomes, I figure I might as well make them room fre room freshers. Room, I don't know. What room, what are they? Room refreshers, room freshers. I don't know. They smell good. I make them smell good. Let's go with that. So I use bath salt. And this is um, soaking, a pure Epsom soaking salt, eucalyptus and spearmint. I'm trying to think if I got this bag at the Dollar Tree. It seems really big, but I normally buy it at the Dollar Tree. I don't know. Anyway. So it smells, so, that's what just made me sneeze because he smells. So the terrarium has a hole in the back. So it's like, if, I wish you guys, we had smell a vision It smells so good. And all you have to do is shake him up. Oops, he dropped his heart then. Shake him up and then you, you know, you refresh it. 
Okay, so let's talk about what I did. So I used the terrarium in a sock. I used a heart for his feet, but I want you to note in the video, I take my hacksaw and cut into it so we don't have the hole in the feet where it's normally a tie because it's an ornament. I used the other sock and I tie dyed it. Uh -huh. Do you see that? I tie dyed my sock. Here's how. So you use markers. Oh, I put my markers away, but they're just the jot permanent markers and I put them all over. You'll see in the video. And then the secret ingredient is rubbing alcohol. So you can do this on t-shirts, on any kind of material. You use a permanent marker and then you pour rubbing alcohol over it. It bleeds it. It's super cool. It doesn't work as well on a fuzzy sock like this, but it worked well enough. Um, and remember, I was making this only with supplies that I had on hand. I couldn't go buy anything. So, and of course the hair is jute twine. How fantastic and perfect is the hair? The hair really is perfect. He almost looks Hawaiian, but you know they wear flowers in their hair. So I kind of went that route. Um, okay, so really quickly. So a pair of socks, right? See how it's back here? Cause you can smell, this is the back half of the terrarium. Um, a heart that I cut into to make his feet. Um, the hands, which is a photo holder. And you'll see in the video, I just take the first sock all the way up and I knot it because that helped lift my second sock, right? By knotting it on top, it helps lift it. And then I tie dye just using the um, jot markers and rubbing alcohol. I cut the end of the sock so that you get like a furry end. Okay, I was trying to make this as easy as possible. And then I use jute twine for the hair. And when I put hair on, I go hair and then I lift it and I go hair and hair and hair and hair. You'll see in the video. So we just sort of get this layered hair effect and I choppy cut the bottom because he's a hippie. And it kind of almost looks like dreadlocks, doesn't it? Or he's super curly hair. Okay, and then I just took a, a, a pick and I made the, the halo of flowers and I just added some extra flowers in there. And anyway, you'll see in the video how I do that. But I wanna talk about the nose. So I couldn't find, I'm like, damn it. Sorry, sorry guys. I'm out here, I'm like, I don't have a nose. How do I not have a nose? Well, in the bottom of my, I have, I'm gonna show you here. I always keep dropping his heart. Huh? Again, let's go over that because you could change whatever it is and make it seasonal. So I can put a, I can put a shamrock in him next and an Easter egg after that. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it. He's in all your decoration. Okay, but here's the thing. I have like this basket, which I grabbed out last night when I drew that name. And I have, um, for instance, I have troll bracelets in here, which make really good gnome hair. But I didn't want like fairy gnomish looking. I wanted hippie gnomes, so I really thought I needed to give him more realistic looking hair. This jute twine is amazing. So I'm like, well, dang, what do I have? I started looking through everything that I had out here. I was gonna go steal something off another craft. Oh, here, by the way, is a pair of those hands in a package. And then in the bottom of my stash here, for some reason, I find one and I mean there's only one I'm checking right now but there was only one sparkle ball it's the vase fillers you know the vase fillers that you buy and it's got different size sparkle balls in it another video with balls so anyway it had this I had this one blue sparkle ball and I'm like okay it's round so I stick it on there I'm like I can't have a sparkle nose you can for certain holidays right like when you at Christmas time you could have red sparkle nose on him it looks really cute because it looks like an ornament well, I did one anyway whatever you can at different holidays. A green one at St. Patrick's Day would be super cute. But on a hippie gnome, a blue sparkle nose was not gonna work. I took my sanding block. It's not on the video because I had to do it over my trash can. But you can still see the blue sparkle on there. I sanded all the blue off really carefully because it's styrofoam. And then I took a furniture marker. I painted it, his nose. This didn't get videoed, I don't know how. But after I painted his nose with this, I took my pink chalk pencil and went over it and it gave me a flesh tone. Yeah, there's another thumbnail right here. Hey. Okay, that's my gnome. What do you guys think? Pat, I hope you love your hippie gnome that I made for you. Just, I'm in love with the hair because like how perfect is that hair, right? And my tie-dye effect, which remember, I only went with what I had on hand. If I was gonna buy the socks to do this, I would have bought just like regular white socks that I could have tie dyed, or I would have used a tie dye bandana, which you can buy at the Dollar Tree. But I had to use only what I had in my craft supplies because that was my challenge to myself. All right, so here we go. I did, and I actually think he's kind of cute. You guys have to let me know you think of my gnome. Sorry there's only one craft today, but he took a long time. 
So there's Mr. Nomi. Everybody name him now. Please name him. Don't say Bob Dylan. Please don't. But name him for me and don't say Cousin It or Hippie Santa. Just name him for me. Okay. I love you guys. Have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, oh, and enjoy the rest of the video watching how I made this. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Okay. Love you guys. See you tomorrow for Foodie Friday. gonna make a hippie gnome so I'm gonna use some different stuff this is a light bulb barium, a valentine's heart um some of the eucalyptus and spearmint epsom salt some jute twine a pair of socks rubbing alcohol a phone holder an array of markers and um this pick which is just roses little roses all right let's go mm -hmm.